boy Cereal. I'm here in Studio 899 with Lenny, Lenny Lomote. The bell is not here, but we'll clap. Bring the bell, no, bring the bell. That. With Lenny Lomote and Olele Salvador, we are starting it up. Big, big conversation. We have a special guest in the house today. This one, I have to take my time because I don't want to ring bell. With the man himself, comedic genius, creative uh, brother of mine. They call him Clemento Suarez. Tale, round of applause for the man. Brother, welcome. Hey, thanks, man. Akwaba. Yeah, yeah. What be fear? Hi, me fear. What but it's in your mifi. Eh, in your mifi. Okay, that's it's, 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 it's home, but it's not house. It's not, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Charlie, so a big conversation today. We are going to be looking at the impact of theater and live stage plays. Oh, thank you, thank Anita, you for bringing thank you. The, be the bell of destiny. We yes. have to name this bell. So I have to ring <laughs> it. Our, yeah. our guest here does not understand mm. what's going on. You, we want Charlie, to... remember the context. Don't okay, worry. Very much. Memento. <laughs> This is a powerful bell. Mm -hmm. When you take the English to have accident, uh, <laughs> then you oh, okay. alarm, alarm, then oh, you alarm okay, yourself. Okay, okay. It's, it's here. Yeah, so, so be careful. Be careful. Uh, if you accident, you ring the bell. You ring the bell. <laughs> but we can speak to you. Oh. You can speak any language. Charlie, but um, bro, update us. What have you been up to? I know uh, it's been busy, December, yeah. all that. We haven't seen you in a minute. Yeah. Catch us up. Let's get updated oh, and then we get lot, into our conversation. Hello, hello. Clarento has been uh, out and about doing shows, uh, Accra, Kumasi, Sunyani, Borga, and all that. And so, yeah, like you said, it's been busy. So it's just that um, all of them have been in theaters. They are live shows. And so okay. not many people get to see it. So that's why it looks like you don't see Clarento around. But mm. I've been working. So these are not typically stand-up settings. They are more theatrical, yeah. uh, live... Uh, I'm a theater boy. Okay. I'm a theater boy. I don't do stand-up comedy. If okay. you see me on a stand-up stage, maybe I'm hosting it or okay. I just pass through. But Okay. Yeah. So what, what is it like? Looking at... You, you're performing in a lot of the smaller towns, mm -hmm. Takradi, Sunyani, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. But what, what's the reception like? How, how do they receive uh, theater play? It's, it's amazing because uh, they've heard a lot of, of things about theater happening in Accra mm -hmm. and they keep complaining, when is it coming here? So when you go there, um, last weekend we were in Sunyani and I think the reception was so great. People have yearned for us for a long time. They don't get to see us. So once we decide to go there, they are always ready to uh, come in their numbers to support. And so it, it's, it's quite fun. Okay. Yeah. It's good to hear that they come out to support, but what's it like for you, the creator, the investor, when you put the money, the time, mm -hmm. the effort, creativity inside, what are the returns like? Is it worth it at the end of the day? Uh, most of the times I don't produce. So okay. people do that in their various places and they invite. So uh, when they call you again, you get to know that, well, then the, it means the first one, was Pop. good, yeah, and so uh, they keep calling, so it means that I mean they are getting around. And money. and 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 it's it's mo uh, the money factor is also good. Uh, so me, how how from the typical theater uh -huh. setting, it's ticketing. Yeah, that that that's the main end. Yeah. If I get it yeah. right, yeah. If you okay. don't have sponsors as usual, then it's just ticketing. Uh, sponsors are, are difficult to come by. Eh? Yeah. Like is it is it that? Let me play devil's advocate. Let me be the bad guy. Is it that there's, you don't consciously... Go oh, go with you. Say time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, go Chadoli. Oh, me, I'm crashing. I will not play devil's advocate. I'll play Jesus' advocate. <laughs> 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 Jesus advocate. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Right. <laughs> Is it that you guys don't consciously go out and break down the doors and fight for the sponsorship? Well, the sponsors hear you, but I say... Um, that that drive to is the that factor. The forcing is 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 a factor. We don't do that. We mm. are like generally Ghanaians are a bit laid back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's culture is there. But I think things are changing now. We are breaking doors and all that. We we will catch up with the stuff soon. Okay. So very soon. And they also the corporate entities are also seeing what we are doing. So now it's a bit easier. They come on board. Yeah. So, okay, look at that. Outside of Accra, what would you say your biggest uh, theater audience would be? Oh, Kumasi. Kumasi. Yeah, yeah. What's the reason? Is it the language? Do you do you do, you do the theater? I mean, yeah. walk us through it. So I, I I would love to be. I've not been. I don't know if mm -hmm. Lenny or Lily have had the privilege. But what's a typical theater experience like with uh, Clemento Suarez and his crew? Um, first of all, it's like it's, it's like watching a movie on a big screen because the stage is very big. 
and now you have the opportunity to talk into the movie. If something is happening, you mm. can say something. Interaction. So mm. The interaction is there. And you can see everything happening at the same time, at the same time. For movies, things can be happening at the same time. Like, we are all here. Um, seeing another you, scene but I'm not seeing seen here. Mm. But on the stage, I can see everybody. I see every reaction. So that feeling is there. For actors, the audience appreciation is also great for us. It boosts the morale of the performer. And so uh, it's two-way thing. You are seeing live. You can interact. They can also interact with you. And so it's amazing. And for language, well, it depends on the setting of the play. If the play is set in Ghana, surely you're going to hear some Ghanaian stuff. But if it's set, let's say, a Shakespeare play mm. in Venice, you cannot go and speak to yeah, it yeah. unless you are typically adapting it to fit the Ghanaian uh, society. But otherwise, it's English, but just means with some Ghanaian language. So wherever you go in Ghana, I mean, every English is like our official language, so you can get it. And even with a tree, a lot of people or other regions speak tree, so it's quite easy for them to grasp. Mm -hmm. Now, okay. we're talking about the regions, yeah. right? I would like to um, know um, about amplification because mm. when he was um, answering the questions, he mentioned how he's actually putting in the work, but because it's theatre, we don't really hear about it. Mm -hmm. Now, are there measures that you guys are taking or want to put in place to make sure that you know even if it's a theater production in a village somewhere it is amplified enough for people in accra to know about it probably put it on tv or put it out there um via socials in a way because i mean with these theater productions it's never a one-off um thing you don't just up and go you rehearse you know there's production all of those things so to have to go and then nobody oh, else knows about it and Yes, but that's what they mean no, I mean, that. like you do rehearsals. You actually go through the process of doing like the production, the full, doing the, the whole three sixty, uh -huh. light, sound, uh -huh. everything. Everything goes uh -huh. into it. Is what I mean. Yeah. So you can't afford to put your time and energy into that, mm -hmm. and then no. in the end, it just you know locks off in that particular um, venue. Uh, yeah, you have a you have a great point. But um, like you're saying, if you're doing it in a small village, you you're natural instinct will tell you that concentrate on that village make people from that village come and see it mm -hmm. even though we use the socials we use the social media it's there everywhere uh, we have a show coming up on 17th we've been putting it out there all right but if the national theater will be filled to the brim it won't get uh, over four thousand mm -hmm. so at, at a goal only about four thousand people will see the show and that's what i'm talking about we do the shows but limited people see it Unless we rerun, and if you're, you're going to rerun, how many times are you going to do that? Mm -hmm. If you do it for four times, it's going to be how many? How many? Twelve or sixteen? Sixteen thousand people. So it doesn't really get there like a movie. Movie, you watch it, you can give it to him. He watches it and all that. But for play, even if the place is packed, that's about four thousand people. So that's what I'm actually saying. Not that uh, people don't hear it because we pay for advertisement, we go mm -hmm. for interviews and all that. We try our best to um, publicize it, but. Mm -hmm. Uh, it is what it is. Do, do you it think is it's an issue of an interest that is waning, you know, from the the Ghanaian audience? Because I'm looking at, you know, how concert party used to be a big deal yeah. back then. You know, uh, concert party is just an example. I'm sure there are other examples that we could use, but concert party had that buzz. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it, you I don't know whether it's because of the characters involved, but for yourself and Janine Tetia and uh, Foster Romano, you guys have built brands for yourself. Yet still, you're not you're not getting that buzz. Is it because Ghanaians don't really see, you know, Ooh. that? For the buzz, I think we get it. Okay. We, yeah, um, we are there. Like you're saying, you have mentioned a few names, and mm. it means that at least the guys are trying. Yeah. Are there. But the difference between concert party and now is mm. that during the concert party days, there was nothing like social media. Right. There was nothing even like TV3. Mm. It was just one station, GTV, yeah. and everybody well, was watching. Watch. <laughs> so those times, if you're a star, you are a star national. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're watching this, you're watching... Uh, so Shatawali has also come on live. <laughs> so uh, there's a lot going on right now. So does it make your work difficult? Does it make it difficult to get the attention of, you yeah. know, because clearly that's a problem. That's a challenge that you will look into to uh, surmount. The reason I can't say point blank that it's a challenge is okay. that, uh, like I, I said earlier, even if the National Theatre will be filled to... It's, it's, just, 
the physical yes. limitations. Yes. So, so it's not. Going. All we need is a lot of money pumped into it so that after Accra, we can go to Tema, we can go here, mm. we can mm -hmm. go here. So it's more so of a that, touring thing. Uh -huh, that's the thing. Okay, mm. so so taking from that, I mean, what, what we also like to do here is that as much as we critique and we open up the conversation, we want to push the sol solution direction. Yeah. So I would want you, to, if you can open up about what does it typically cost? to put together that national theater show. Yeah. Let's say we are trying to push for the 4,000 capacity, mm -hmm. a good uh, two hour, one hour, 30 yeah. minute uh, theater production. piece. What, 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 what would that production cost? Monetary values, logistics, so that, I mean, brands managers, yeah. people are listening. Let them know that this is what it costs to put this magnificent piece together. So that tomorrow when you send a letter or a proposal, you know, that context is there. Well, walk us yeah. through it. Uh, it, it varies, the, the amount varies, because um, every production has its cost. If you're doing a two-cast production, definitely it's going to be less than a thousand-cast production. This guy, um, Chief Moomin, has a play that has over 100 cast. So if the cast alone is over 100, you're now going to talk about crew. Mm. After that, you're going to talk about publicity, um, your... Um, paper, radio, TV, you're going to talk about all those things. Now you get to uh, sound itself, the lights, the um, microphones, the set. Mm. So it varies. But for a typical Ghanaian production where you're doing a house, maybe an office, you know, the normal setting we have, it won't cost you less than 80000 to put it at the National Theatre. Wow. So, mm. yeah, yes, because the National Theatre itself is like um, 15000 from twelve to 15000 there about. Then if I'm putting Cyril in there, I'm not going to pay him less than 5000 Oh, how much? You did, you did. <laughs> I'll give him 2000 <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's quite a lot. You're putting Clemento on, he's taking 15,000. Come on. So, yeah, only Clemento is taking 15,000. It means that the 80,000. Are you the highest paid comedian? Are you trying to tell like, your highest paid comedian? No, I don't know how much other people charge. <laughs> <laughs> but me, yeah, this is my chance. Is so, who, is the, who do you think is the highest paid comedic actor? That's what I said. I don't know. Hey, Clemento. Nobody knows what I take as well. But you just say you take 15,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm now saying it. <laughs> <laughs> I charge fifty thousand. I, I charge, <laughs> but Lenny can just rob, <laughs> and I'll take hundred cities. You take thousand five. No, you it's not just this. I'll give you thousand five from my two thousand. <laughs> ah, yeah. So it's, it's let me just give the range mm -hmm. between eighty thousand mm -hmm. and a hundred thousand. Yeah. Is there is there some form of funding apart from sponsorships and stuff, right? I mean, mentioning 80,000 to 100,000, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. the fact that you said the National Theatre charges, mm -hmm. I mean, is a National Theatre, aren't mm -hmm. there any um, subsidies? Aren't they giving yeah. you any discounts that to an extent? Is their subsidy. <laughs> oh, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. The 80,000? Wow. No, if, the 15,000. 12 to 15,000. 15, oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because mm -hmm. it's okay. a big deal. It's a, it's a, you need a lot to maintain the National Theatre. Mm. And so if, if they are doing it, it's 9,000, 8,000, people probably wouldn't take them serious. Everybody can go hire the place for party and all that. So I think so it's So you it's agree okay. to that yeah, 12 yeah, to 15,000 that the National... That they need to keep their place maintained uh, and other stuff they should employ, other stuff like lights, oh. sound, mm. make things work mm. better mm. there. Okay. But otherwise, it's okay. It's... It no, but I, I think that for, let's say for like a, a new production mm -hmm. house or production company that wants to do, you know, a theatre performance at the National Theatre, mm -hmm. that will be a lot of money for them to pay. So I'm also looking at it that way, how the um, amount of money the um, theatre is charging. Mm -hmm. I think they can, re they can just reduce it so that it makes it... It opens it up to more people to watch or come and hold, you know, their um, theater performances mm. there. Because now theater is growing mm -hmm. yeah, in Ghana, yeah. now it's more growing. than ever. It's so I feel like the the 12 to 15,000 is the a amount lot. amount is growing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So before you get to do your production, you know the amount. I mean, we, we may all love Jaguars mm -hmm. and we want to drive Jaguars. But because the amount is here, you say, oh, they should reduce it so that we all get... No, no, no. It doesn't work like that. Uh, you you prep yourself for it. That's why you have to look for uh, um, investment, sponsorship mm -hmm. that can cover some of these things for you. Otherwise, uh, your ticket sales can actually 
take care of that. You can yeah. make more than the eighty thousand if your so the investment is, is worth it. Yeah, it's yeah, not it, a it loss is. If you it get is. It right. I, I, I don't condemn it okay. at all. It's, it's okay. okay. Just a quick acknowledgement of Kobna Ansai, playwright and a freelance writer as well. Um, I, he, he runs a scribe uh, productions. productions. I think they're a theater-based uh, uh, company. And we have him also on Zoom. He'll be joining us for his uh, inputs as, with his inputs as well because I like where the conversation is going. We're, 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 we're slowly coming to the agreement that indeed we can make money out of the theater productions. It's not just about, yeah. we need 80,000 and it go lost. No, 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 no we no, can no, do 80 no, no. and get one, 120 one, so that Clemento yes. give me back my 40. Yes. Then, because <laughs> actually people pay that 12,000 mm -hmm. and charge 500 CDs when wow. a normal uh, theater show mm -hmm. would go like 100 CDs. People would take 250. Mm -hmm. So you can make your money. So they can break even, you think? And make profit. And make profit. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's uh um we have Kobna and Sa on Zoom there on your screens. Uh Chairman, good morning. Can you hear me? Good morning, sir. I can hear you perfectly. Can you hear me please? Hello, can you hear me please? Hello? Yes, we can hear you. Can you hear me? Can you hear can me, hear Kobna? You. Clearly. Excellent. Okay. So you are just joining us in the middle of the conversation. We've been exploring um, theatre uh, the, as an industry in Ghana. Everything from funding to execution to kick ticketing to to venues to ticketing. How it comes about the whole ecosystem around um, theatre. I just want your inputs on that. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, scribe. I hear you are a big big writer, and then um, also your 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 understanding of the industry and how you think we can elevate it. Um, okay, so um, a brief introduction on myself. My name is Kobnan. I'm, I'm a writer. Um, I, I do write other genres apart from plays. Um, I run Scribe Productions, which is a theater production company. And um, so far, we've done about eight original plays. And uh, our last play was Once Upon a Radar, which was an original play with original music. So basically, that's what we do as Scribe. I'm talking about theater and how we can elevate the conversation to make it a, probably a bit more than it is now. Um, I think the first of all, the first thing I'll talk about is the storylines in, in, in some of our plays or the stories that we tell. I think that um, if you take um, a critical look at most of the plays happening, you get to know that they are all comedy, comedy, comedy. And I, I think that it gets to a point that it, it gets boring, like the people get fed up with almost the same storyline over and over again. And that is one thing we should look at as, as playwrights or as production companies, because um, if we are looking at people flooding the theaters to come see our plays, then it means that we should be able to tell stories that will challenge them. And I'm looking at stories that can generate um, national conversations or even international conversations. So it means that we need to, we need to you know, theater can actually be a, um, an agent of change. We can use theater to begin or, or, or start change. For example, face the country, theater could have been one of the platforms through which you could have communicated its message. And so we should be able to um, get to that point where our stories are, are beyond comedy, where people just come sit down, laugh, and then they, they just go without anything to challenge them or anything in society to um, get them thinking. And that is why I think that the conversation should be heading towards that yeah, um, we, please, we, ha we have a lot of plays um, um, now um, in the theaters almost every weekend. There's something happening in the theater and all that. But we should be looking at the kind of stories you are telling. How are these stories impacting on the society that we, we have? Yeah, so I think that when, when we begin to challenge ourselves in that direction, um, everything will fall in place. Yeah, thank you. I mean, when you said that you want to go beyond um, comedy, you want to go beyond comedy. Hi, come now, can you hear me? I can hear you. Very okay. Well now. now, saying you want to go look beyond comedy in actually raising certain um, thought-provoking issues or um, uh, discussions about a country or something, right? I, I, 
I want to ask, yeah. is it because you think comedy doesn't do it enough? Because to me, I think comedy is thought-provoking. Like, comedy can pick the most serious of things and not even trivialize it, but rather highlight on it in a way that um, the audiences are able to digest it better. So you saying that, isn't that um, just putting comedy on the back burner? Yeah, I think that I, I like the question there. And I, I would also like to take um, Clemento's take on the same mm -hmm. subject when um, Cobna is done mm -hmm. um, answering that. Yeah, Yeah. so um, I'm not in any way trying to um, downplay the, um, the importance of comedy in storytelling. No, that's not, that's not what I'm um, trying to complete at all. And what I'm trying to say is that we should be able to um, go beyond the comical stories to be able to tell um, stories that people can 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 um, relate to. For example, um, the economy is so harsh lately. Can we have plays on that? Can we have plays on uh, more serious issues using the same comedy to tell those stories so that people don't just come to the theater and then they know that, oh, okay, they can predict the storyline. It's going to be about someone cheating on their wife, or it's going to be about a family, a home. There are so many, I think, there are so many important issues in society that we can use the same comedy to talk about. There's rape, there is um, um, fraud, there is galamsey. There's so much that I think that we can still use the same comedy to, to, to touch on. So I'm not in any way trying to downplay the importance of comedy in storytelling. But what I'm trying to say is that we should be able to elevate the conversation for us to, um, 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 so, that, so that, for example, if a play is about to be staged, everyone is on the alert that these people are going to talk about issues that is going to put a government on its toes, is going to put society on its toes or something like that. So that is what I'm talking about. That we, we can, yes, comedy is great, and we, but we should use that comedy to be able to talk about very important issues in society. On, on stage. Thank you. For me, okay, so I beg, for me, I beg to differ because I have, I have personally experienced uh, some of the stage play that have actually addressed um, these issues. I fondly remember the Flagstaff House from what 20, 20, 20, 2015? Yeah. And, uh, yes, yeah, right. um, and I've I've been I've been to some of uh, the plays that have actually addressed situations or, or political you know um, issues. <coughs> As it, as it were, in vogue, you know. And some of these plays were actually inspired by some of the, um, so the popular, happened. trending political issues. Um, Fix the Country, I, I personally haven't seen anything about Fix the Country, but I have seen in time past, you know, how... And I don't want to even call it comedy. They are not actually comedy plays, you know. Uh, these are plays that you don't even expect what the direction would be like. Maybe sometimes when you see someone like Clemente Suarez on it, like, okay, you're going to have a good laugh. Or maybe you see someone like Jiren Tatia or you see uh, Foster, Roman, Foster Romanos in there, you think, oh, you're going to have a good laugh. But most often, there is like a, a, a direction of, of the stage play. I think that the challenge is the amplification of such plays. You know, because um, with the attendance that I have I've had the opportunity to, to be involved in, some of these plays don't actually get um, the buzz. The ones that ad address a political issue, they don't, they don't get the buzz. But the other ones, oh yeah, definitely, you're going to, you're going to get the buzz. So I think for me, it's, it's an issue of amplification. But maybe Clemente, Clemente might, yeah, I, I want, I want to, to take to, um, I want to take your inputs as well. I also have a, a perspective I'm seeing this from. But when you're done, I'll, I'll, I'll share that before we go back to Kobna. All right. Um, I think if. Kobna had mentioned what he's mentioning now. I don't think Lena would have asked the question yeah. she asked yeah. because she, he outrightly, outrightly, please, the bell for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let it be there. More to come. <laughs> the moment he started, he just downplayed comedy and said, uh, you do comedy and it gets boring at the time. And now he's saying, oh, you can use comedy to do that. When you goof, you just accept and then apologize. We go on, we move on and say, oh, this is why I said earlier, but I'm sorry, I, I actually... This is what I mean. This. Yeah, because if he had said that you can use the comedy to educate, he would, would never have asked mm -hmm. that question. Uh, so going on the comedy tangent, comedy itself is taking serious issues and making it light. Or a drama that has a happy ending. That is comedy for you. So, um, 
you you might have something called fast. That one is ENG Misa. There's no nothing to pick from it. Mm. It's just for the last. Mm. And we have comedy. Like he rightly said, we have flash stuff out. We've had If God is Ghanaian. Mm. We've had um, Ghana for Sale. All these things are shows or comedy shows that have actually um, spoken to the economy or what is happening. We do situational comedy yeah. as well. So uh, for him to have said that, I don't think he was right. And comedy... You cannot write, write comedy off when it comes to uh, theater performances. How many times are you going to do tragedy? And even for him, he doesn't do tragedy. He does drama and comedy. You understand? The, Fix the Country, he was also in it. He's a good writer. He's not written any Fix the Country thing. <laughs> his plays are there. He, I've seen some of his plays. And he gets the place packed and all that. But he doesn't do that. He doesn't go directly talking about GDP and all these things. No. Sometimes you, you, you do your comedy, but it's up to the audience to just... Oh, uh, this, this, this. This um, Saturday, there's a show by... General Antatia and his yeah. brother. And they are talking about what happened with the uh, side check suing. Like, they are going to enact something <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> so how can you say, it? because it's comedy, it's not making sense, it's not doing this, it's not doing that. Plus, it is a form of drama. Comedy is a form of drama. We have about five forms of drama. Comedy is part. You cannot write it off. And you need people to release stress. You don't know the economy better than <laughs> if we want to go direct, 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 sit at your home, listen to State of the Nations address. Don't buy a ticket, go to National Theatre, come and listen to State of the Nations. It doesn't make sense. You are here to release stress. After a long month or a long week work, you come here, you release stress. You don't expect to go to the club and listen to Daddy and Ume. <laughs> you, you get it. You, you need to yourself. Yes. You need some La Paz or Yota for you to dance. Yeah. There's everything, uh, like there's time for everything. You see, that's that's why but, he but, went but, but Clemenzo, not to hold brief for yeah. him, don't yeah. you think that maybe his his point is along the lines of having a balance? You know, Excellent. You took the word from second, my mouth. That's yeah. the second, that's that's the second submission. The yes. correction yes. brought to the... the, the Madam Judge put the question. <laughs> to That's when he changed. That's when he changed. So that yes. I'm sure, I'm sure I record you. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, I, I think um, so there's, in, there's always the balance. In, yeah, it's well. Still in playing Jesus advocate for him <laughs> yeah. at yeah. the moment. I, I realize that maybe he's talking more about prioritization. Looking at Ghana, right? We seem to have more problems than joy. But every time we get an opportunity to use the arts, the creative arts, for mass communication, we choose to celebrate or to f use it to forget about our problems. Uh, we we rarely, like yes, we rarely use the arts with the same vim to try and address the problem. Now, I can give a personal um, uh, what's it called, experience because I have written... Uh, production, theater productions for issues like um, child marriage mm -hmm. up north or for teenage adolescent, adolescent reproductive in teenage <laughs> adolescent <laughs> reproductive <laughs> help help three times and yet teenage adolescent reproductive health and stuff like that and you find that most of the times is this it's these foreign agencies your UNICEFs and yeah. and co who want to use it to impact okay. yeah. society. Yeah. So I think what he's trying to say is that well, our Wahala plenty, yeah. we first stop the jamming small and try to quench some of the fires. Yeah. Well, you understand? You that that, that is the angle. I'm, I'm, again, I'm chopping lawyer for somebody who doesn't yeah, need that's lawyer. Good. Good but lawyer. That's what yeah, I'm, that's I'm, 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 I understand. So it's not that, let's not laugh. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you're in Accra, your salary land, mm -hmm. you and your baby won't go chill, you will go national theater, laugh and die. Yeah. But if you dare, a uh, Lubu somewhere mm -hmm. with serious problem they the way they bring theater troupe there. Mm -hmm. What he says that 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 yes that that troupe that has moved car from Kumasi or Accra all the way to Lubu. Mm -hmm. Don't go and make Lubu people laugh. No, when they are, when they are dealing the, the with Lubu you, Lubu people need you to laugh because you they need to you distress. <laughs> to are you going to tell a Lubu people that a Lubu, your gutter is filled with uh, filth? They know. You, you know better than them. You <laughs> move from Accra to Ghana. <laughs> You devil, devil, They also need to, ha like, they have to laugh. They have to be happy. There, there is something called theater for development. Yeah. 
We have that. Excellent. That's what yeah. I've been part of such productions. You go to the marketplaces, you educate on, on cholera, or, um, uh, the typhoid, yes, all these things. On cleanliness. Yeah. You Communal go there, health, you preach, all those things. You preach to the people. But when it comes to entertainment, you do the laughing, but people will still get the message, message from it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Kobna, I don't know if you've been listening to us, um, if you're still with us. Uh, I would like to take your comments as well. We've all kind of gone around on your initial submission and taking the various angles we, we understand it from. I mean, I'd love to hear a rebuttal on that. Yeah, I have. And so first of all, let me, let me, let me write an apology. If Clemenza think I am trying to <laughs> downplay comedy or anything like that, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Hello? Flow, 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 flow. Please flow. Apology accepted. He himself accepted apology before you made it. So don't worry. Let's be going. Uh, but I want to see your take on that because, like he said, theater for impact, theater for change. These are all um, uh, very specific or niche elements in the theater space. But looking at the commercialization, how we turn theater industry into a profit-making uh, uh, system where even some of those profits can be redirected at much more niche shows and, and plays to create these impacts. I want to know from your experience, you've written quite a lot of, of uh, plays and, and stories. I want to know from your experience, what's the ratio like? Uh, how, uh, when, how does it work at, at Scribe? Do, do, do requests come in from people saying, I, I'm doing a play, uh, I need you to put a script together, this is what my story is? Or is it that you uh, internally generate your ideas and then execute the scripts and look for funding to, to bring them to life as theater? Yeah, so for, for us at Stripe, just like it is for, um, I think, Clemenzo and his team and most other production houses, um, everything is self-funded by the producer. And who happens to be, uh, for example, me or um, the producer for all these production houses. And um, I'm talking about how the stories are generated at Scribe, we look at issues around us. We look at issues that we think that need to be tagged on. Sometimes very pertinent issues that many people are not paying attention to. And those are the issues that we want to address um, through our stage plays. Yes, um, we do comedy as well, but like, like um, you rightly said, it's about the balance. It's about the balance, it's about um, being able to balance the story that you're telling so that people don't always come to the theater and know that, okay, these people are just going to do comedy. They should be able to come there and know that at least there's going to be some balance somewhere, even though there's some comic part of the story, there's also something very serious being talked about all throughout the comedy. Yeah, so um, like I said, we generate our own ideas based on stories that are trending or stories that we think that are very important for society to develop. And um, that is how we put our stuff together. And of course, everything is self-funded. And like Clemente rightly said, um, you need a budget of at least 80,000. For us as Scribe, we do at least 100,000 because um, we do live band with all our plays. And live band is very, expen it's very, very, very expensive. Yeah, because you need to start rehearsals with the band, start rehearsals with your team. At the end of the day, you come to the National Theater, perform, if it's two shows for a day or four shows for two days or how many days you want to do. Yeah, uh, at least for a day, you're you 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 paying, you're not paying less than um, 10,000 for a band, for band alone. So with all the other things coming together, you may be training at least 100,000 per, per production. And that is always on the shoulders of the producer because there's little sponsorship, there's little support. And that is probably how or why we don't even do a lot of plays all through the year. Because, yeah, I know um, Clemento and his team and all that could have done maybe four or five plays in a year or probably even six. But because there's little support, you do what you can. Um, maybe quarterly or maybe um, um, once in four months or five months or twice a year, no? So um, when when the support comes in from the corporate world, from governments, from all other um, institutions, then I think that tether, the tether condition can again be elevated and amplified so that we can do a, a, a lot more publicity to help people come see it. Because sometimes you may have very good content, but you don't have the money to do the publicity. You just do social media and do your best uh, um, by working to offices to tell them about your play and all that. And then they are not reaching a lot of people, and many people don't get to hear about it. 
it means that it's going to reflect in the in the patronage. So um, when we have the support, we can do more as 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 as, as an industry. Yeah. Speaking about um, doing more as an industry, we've, we, in recent times, we've heard the narrative from corporate Ghana and even the government, you know, creative arts, creative arts, creative arts is the new slogan. Everybody is throwing creative arts around. Have you um, tried to champion any sponsorships, trying to lead for any partnerships? Because 100,000 and for five, six shows to be effective in a year, that's half a million, right? You, I don't think you're going to shove that out your pocket. You need um, the, the, the corporate support. Have you, have you followed that Trail, try to speak to sponsors, brands, you know, the relevant um, entities that have the muscle to support. Yes. Before every show begins, we do a lot of um, scouting and a lot of um, working into offices with our proposals and, 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 and our partnership letters and all that. But oftentimes, it, it's, it's difficult to get it. Trust me, it's very difficult for any um, 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 corporate firm to, to dole out money to you and say that, take this and um, um, go and use it for your show. It, it's difficult. And at this point, let me let me acknowledge Ecobank, um, um, who have been of great support um, to us for about um, the, the past four or five years. Um, aside Ecobank, probably other 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 um, brands may want to support you in kind. For example, um, Cheesy Pizza supported a lot with their pizza. Um, other brands may also support you with some of um, their product, but you see, um, it's difficult using a product um, to support whatever you are doing, especially if it's if it's cash you want. You know, so um, um, we will keep yeah we keep we keep we keep pushing we keep um, um, searching for funds we see we, we keep um, doing all that we can to be able to have the cushion that we need. Um, but um, if you don't get it, you do with the lesser that you have. And that is what it is. What about um, content adaptation? So overseas, you'll see people film the theater uh, plays, put it on YouTube for streaming, try and get it on streaming platforms, you know, take some snippets here for social media. I heard you mention um, the band and a bunch of other creatives that are, are collaborators to this. So is it original music, for example, from the band? Or are they just a cover band that's coming to play mood music to suffice for the, the, the purpose of the play? Yes, our last was original music. Hello, Come here, please. I, I didn't get the last one. Are question. you still with us? Yeah, I'm here, please. The last question. So the last please. question I was asking that. So is it a collaborative effort where they create original music and who has the rights to this music and the other elements that bring the play to life? Because if you are looking to elevate the the, the, the industry, then you need to start looking at things like capturing those theater plays, making them available for on demand streaming and stuff like that. So if you bring in a band and you have to pay them ten thousand CDs, fifteen thousand CDs, and they create original music for your play, who who wrote the songs? Who wrote the music? Whose lyrics are, 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 are the songs uh, are being covered with? Who owns the right to those songs? And then how do you monetize that to make sure that if you elevate beyond what you're saying, if it becomes extremely successful, tomorrow some band isn't tracking you down that they want their royalties for the song that has made your play popular? Okay, so um, let me talk about the streaming and um, um um, part of the of the of the question, and then I'll come to the original music. So um, we do put our content out there for streaming of our patrons, especially those who could not come see the play, the theater. And of course, on the day of the event, we do live stream. So there's the fiscal um, 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 part of the play happening at the National Theater or where, whichever venue, and then there's also the online one happening at the same time. So those who can't come to the theater can live stream. The event at the same time. That, that's what we do as tribe. So we have others watching all over the world at the same time as the play is happening at the theater. And after the play has happened, we do a, a, another stream of it so that those who couldn't watch when it was being um, 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 staged can now watch it. So we just finished our stream just um, um, last Monday um, on the holiday because we've been running a stream since February. Um, so every weekend we, we run a stream of one of our plays so that people who couldn't see it can now see it. And we did about five plays, live stream over five weekends. Let me talk about the original music. So um, the, the concept about the original music was that to be able to 
um, once again, like we're talking about elevate and amplify whatever you are doing, then it means that you need to get to that level where everything you're doing is original. And that is where we came in with original play, um, original music. So I wrote all the music, I wrote all the songs, and um, we performed them. But I didn't create the beat, so I didn't create um, the sound that came with the, with the song. So it means that I was working with the band. And the idea is that after the play has been staged, we are going to record all these songs professionally and put them out there. So it means that we are not going to have just the play as our content, but also the music as our content. Yeah, and that is the future of it. That at the end of the day, we are putting, we are, we are, we are not just putting ourselves out as, as just a production house, but also as a music entity, we are producing original songs to put out there. And it, 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 even though I'm writing the songs, it's going to be wholly owned by the whole team, the whole creative team, everyone who. It seems like we have some technical um, issues there, but yeah, I mean, said, let me go back to uh, Clemento in house. Yeah. Oh, okay. Coming out, we 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 lost you for a few seconds there. Um, I mean, but let me let me let me go back to um, Clemento on the on the physical venues now. Kobna was speaking about um, the the digital space and how they are also trying to take advantage of that to get new uh, revenue. But I want to know. You mentioned this conversation we've had. You mentioned National Theatre eight times. I was counting wow. the eight times that we've mentioned National Theatre nine. Is <laughs> is that the only venue? What are venues like? How hard is it to get a good place? So Nyani, where did you put it together? Kumase. I was Who? going to ask you that. You asked me that? Yes. Uh, I'm listening. It was all about National Theatre. What were uh, you doing? Uh, and all that. <laughs> so, um, for theatre, every space is, is uh, stageable. Even here, we can stage a play here. Wow. So, uh, all you need is a space. Even though it's not, it might not have all the lighting and all those things, but once you get a space, that's why we, we are able to do Theatre for development in markets and mm. all that. You clear space and you demarcate. You raise the stage and then that's, does that. Sometimes you don't even raise. You use the bare floor. And you do that. It, it happens. So um, for national theatre, is the apex of theatre in Ghana. That's the height of it. So once you do your shows, maybe at the drama studio in Legon, there's another theatre up Commonwealth that's called an amphitheatre. You do all those things, but you you want to be there, so you come to the national theatre. That's the biggest. Um, platform. But aside that, there are other um, hotel conference rooms and all that. We've played a lot of shows at, at different locations. Um, been in schools, there are auditoriums. So it's unfortunate that we don't have theaters in different regions. And that's where we have a problem. Yeah. Because yes. theaters come a long way. You know, yes, so they why promised to build. Yeah, uh, yes, I was going to get into that. So <laughs> I was going to ask. <laughs> Uh, uh, honorable, honorable minister, I think it's an opportunity for you to listen uh, to. Okay, for what? Come last in me, can't see That does it does 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 it worry you that sometimes yeah, you, the, the, the government, whether you know previous it governments, does. current government, they don't really pay attention to. to oh, I don't. Things. I don't really care about previous governments too much. Mm. Uh, I'm always concentrated on the current. Yeah, I mean, but both both haven't been. been uh, that's been, why we yeah. sacked them. <laughs> Mm. And there's a new driver. Yeah, yeah. And so he also don't has go a... back talking about what he didn't do. Mm. Mm. But you say that what he's not doing, you are going to, to do. do it. So yeah. if you are still not doing it, we talk to you. Praise the Lord. Do you feel used? Me? Yes. I mean, do do, <laughs> do <laughs> your group the creators? Because yes. uh -huh. often, make I give you your medicine. No, I think. Because <laughs> often it's the, the impression is you know sometimes during these periods or these uh, election periods they, they tend to use the creatives yeah. as as a way to attain sympathy. Galvanize the people, yeah. Yeah, you know, because we saw some of our you, creatives. You actually even, need them. You yes, need but after and, and yeah. after everything is said and done, it's like mm -hmm. now the focus on. I'm not saying they're not important, but the focus on oil and gold. You know, the dentist. And then yeah. we, the creative suffer, we are crying for simple things like a theater. Uh, yes. to... It's you that you cry. Uh, okay. Those they use, they don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The unused ones where we go yes. cry. Yeah, yeah, you see. Because um, <laughs> the, there's a lot of personal stuff in there. Mm -hmm. I mean, if that Lumba is doing a song for MPP, mm -hmm. you don't expect MPP to neglect him when they come. Yeah. yeah. So they are. But you do. But you do place 
that addresses I mean, I issues from I, I didn't do campaign for them so if they don't attend to me it's fine but this is a national thing yeah building theater and it was it in their manifesto well. yeah, yeah. That's, exactly that's, that's yes. what i'm trying to say so even if i didn't vote for you we all didn't vote People voted for you based on that. Right. Yeah. And those people it. deserve yes. your, so your, your promise. That one there. I mean, um, I think it was Fifi Coleman we had much, much earlier on yeah. on the show. Yeah. He also spoke quite bitterly about the National Theatre being our prime yeah. theatre venue and like the, the condition. Only, yeah. I want to know your experience as well. You yeah. know, because every, like, we've spoken to a lot of people in, in Kuyi from the, the state of which it's, it's in to the, 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 the way the administration is running. Yeah. You have to rent your own AC and sometimes some mm -hmm. fun at the back, Charlie. Yeah. It's, it's terrible. It's quite sad with those kind of things. Uh, you you renting the place thinking that, oh, you have your sound and all that. It's like this place. If I've rented a radio space and I can't have to bring my mic, I have to mm. bring, it's quite sad. But uh, I think that um, they are also working hard they are doing what they can do with the money they get. Um, that's it. Are you being political? No. Because I mean, I, you, I work, you, you work with them closely. It's one of your key venues. And uh -huh. if the place DJ go on, oh, I, I, I want said. to know if you have been giving them pressure. Me? Uh. You should ask them. Okay. Me, dear. On the stage, on the stage that we are performing, when people are there, I, yes, I give to them. Wow. Yeah, sometimes I can call the director, if you are there, please come. I'll let them clap for you. Like, oh, he's there. <laughs> they come there, they, 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 they. I say, so this place, is it good for you? <laughs> Me there, I'm like that. Has it worked? Yeah, because sometimes it's very, very painful. You invite a lot of people and they're sweating back there. They're complaining. Sorry. They're not even paying attention to what is going on in the state. Right. And so it's, it's painful. It's uh, very sad. Has, has, has that worked? Has, has that at least got them to go into like an emergency meeting and say, look, this was very embarrassing for us. I mean, how could we have uh, Clemento call us out and then, you know, let's do something about it. Yeah, has there been any, they, any they do meetings. They do meetings. <laughs> but I don't know the outcome of the, of the meetings. Yeah, I've heard that they've had meetings about me before. But do they, but do they, do they tell you what the challenge is? Is it, is it an issue of money um, being given to them or it has to do with um, the, 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 the resource persons not being the right people to handle the kind of challenges they have? Because to be very honest, after 66 years of, of gaining independence, if we are still having the same challenges over and over again, that means your sons and daughters who are going to look into theater would have to come and face the same issues. Yeah. It's true, but the, the National Theatre hasn't been there for 66 years. No, I'm not saying, I'm not saying um, National I'm, I'm just saying that the country, yeah. the country has crazy. come too far to yeah. have yeah. just a national. It's been political. It was been political. Oh, yeah. but, but actually, it's, it's the truth. Right. The place is not in a very good condition. That's the, I won't run away from that. I need the place working so that I can also work. Exactly. That. But I think that, like we are all saying, the government is not paying attention to creative arts because it used to be the place for music shows, yes, yes. Uh, music also awards, also party, yes. Kida Kida now, Kida 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 Kida. yes, all those things, and now you fun world, fun world, yeah, now you can't do that, and so it's quite worrying, and the government and, and the creative arts industry, to be honest, I don't even know what they do. The creative As, arts yeah, industry, aside this. Um, December stuff that yeah, the see, year of return, end of year activities. Aside that, I don't see anything. We all saw what Aunt Sophie, the Honorable Aunt Sophie, yeah, did, her French uh, uh, yeah. ambassador. There was a conscious effort to place light on mm. Ghanaian musicians. Mm. And she even making sure that there's this cross between France and, and, then and Ghana, getting them yeah. uh, features and all that. So th definitely you will talk about France. Definitely you talk about Ghana in France. Yeah. So if there's a conscious effort to raise the the the, the creative arts industry, yeah. we could we could, we can we get can there. Yes. Okay. I, I, I have um and this goes to um Kwabna as well. I mean I'll pick Kwabna's um feedback first. Uh, you know the National Theatre, as much as they are they are resource uh, deprived and they are looking to maximize every opportunity they get. Sometimes I also feel that maybe they might be under a lot of pressure. You have one show and then after the show, you have to close by a certain time because tomorrow there's another show. Meanwhile, your place is already not in the best condition to be taking all that pressure. So you are caught between, should I take every show for the money's sake while simultaneously breaking down my air conditioning machine? So one weekend from a Thursday to a Sunday, your boss show is a six wall. 
Meanwhile, the thing's on crutches, you know. So, Kwamna, I also just want to cut into you and, and get you to understand your experience with the National Theatre and how you think we can elevate the place to the standard we know, know it deserves to be. Um, well, <laughs> issues of our National Theatre is... is, is the Please don't be there. political, though. It's Culture Daily. Daily. We criticize and then we give solutions. So, <laughs> feel free and flow, my brother. Yeah, you know... But it goes it goes back to the conversation that we need a lot of spaces like this, not in just Accra, but in all the other cities, so that so we are able to um, take off the pressure on 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 that space. Because the more pressure there is on the space, the more it, the, the, the easier it deteriorates, and that is why probably uh, most of the facilities there are not are not able to stand the test of time. Because every event is happening there, and, and so now you even have church events happening there and all that. Every almost every event in Ghana is going there, and that alone puts pressure on the on the on the facility, and we are not able to maximize it because from Thursday or probably sometimes even from Monday to Sunday, every day there's an event there. Come on, it's going to it's, 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 it's going to break down. So we need we need spaces like this. In Accra and also in the other cities, so that people can take their 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 events outside of even the city of Accra. Because sometimes you, you you finish your play in Accra and you don't know where, where else to take it to because you don't have that convenient space that you can have the, the event. Wherever you take it outside of Accra, you may have to remodel that space to fit the theater style, and that comes with a, 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 a lot more um, um, expenses. So we need we need we need a lot more spaces like National Theatre to be able to take off the pressure from National Theatre so that we can be able to maximize the use of the place. Yeah. Um, Clemento mentioned, you know, having to sometimes take a dig at um, some of the directors at. Okay, so let me take that again. I was saying that Clemento mentioned sometimes having to um, take a dig at the director or maybe just call them to book and, you know, bring their mind home to the, what the situation is in earnest. With what you've just said, how are you also trying to work it out so that, you know, whatever you guys need as, as you know, an industry, right? Let's take the whole franchise, right? How are you also making sure that things will be done the right way? in also mobilizing other people so that you guys have a united front, one voice to push for the provision of all of these things that you need. <laughs> so before before I even answer that question, um, we had a show there um, in December, last December, um, 10 December. You know that in the middle of the, of the, of the, of the show, we had, we had power outage for over three hours. Come now, stop. <laughs> and oh no, 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 no! I mean, stop the, what you are saying. Not stop talking. Oh, talk to us. <laughs> Come now, can you hear me? <laughs> so, so you know, this is this is like this is a serious issue, and that is why I said that. I'm very careful when talking about 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 the place and about the management of the place and all that because um, you are very careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like 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 you are discussing. It's just it's the, it's the only space in a crowd. And if it's difficult to get other spaces, then you are very careful when talking about the only space you have. Because like I said, in the middle of the show, lights go out. There was. Your patrons are leaving. Those coming to watch the show are also leaving. At the end of the day, whoever you've contracted to, to, to offer any service to you is not going to say that because um, the lights went out, I'm going to take less. No, you've already agreed on something. So you, you pay them what is due. It means that at the end of the day, you've already run at a loss. And that is it. That, that tells you what we are going through or what we are facing as an industry. Okay, well, okay, only. Oh, come now, go, go, sorry, go. Yeah, so, um, and you notice that immediately you start 
you start lambasting them, you'll be we're, we're, we're chanted. So you're always careful <laughs> what, what, to, what to say or what to do. And, and I could notice how politically correct Clemente was trying to be. Because that's it. It's, yeah, he, has, he has to play safe. Okay, Olelo Ole has a question. I, mean, like, I just wanted to find out from him if um, when such things happen, like this light going off for three hours and all that, I mean, do they at least try and compensate you with something or, you know, give you some cash back or something to take off the vendors you speak of? Because, like you said, if, if I come and book you or I come and hire a service or services to, to get something done as part of the play and then there's a there's an unfortunate, you know, um, incident or, or some form of uh, technical casualty, I mean, really, it's not my fault, but how do you also let me feel like, okay, um, you are also part of my, my, my pain and not, this, not just say because you are national theater, so you go scot free? You see, the, the issue about our power outage is something I'm going to address later on fully. So I already want to talk about it now <laughs> because. It's, it's, it's a bigger issue than, than, than I thought it was, you know. So I'll not go into full details about it, but um, on, on, on just the surface, this is, what, this is what we face as a people, as, 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 as an industry, as industry players. There's no, there's no space for you to do what you have to do or what you want to do. Um, for, example, for, for example, if I want to have my show at Drama Studio, Imagine all the money I'm going to put in. How many people are going to be a, a drama studio for me to even break even? So that tells you that you need, you need a bigger space for you to at least make sure that the people coming in will help you to break even or for you to recoup all that you're putting in. But if there are no spaces like, like that, then it it's almost be, uh, becomes impossible to stage your place. Yes, there's, yes like Clemente said, Every space can be transformed into, into a theater space. But if you are talking about the, about the profitability of theater, then not every space can be, can, can, can be suitable for, for theater. Because you, you, first of all, you need to be looking at um, how, many, how many people the space can take. Because if the space can take a lot more people, then you don't need to run a lot of shows to be able to break even. So um, before we let you um, sign off, Governor, I also just wanted to state that I mean we've 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 beaten down on the National Theatre and the venue problem for a while, but I know that it's a whole industry, right? I want to know what your next biggest challenge is. Yeah. I don't want to paint the image like everything is perfect and we are ready to go and National Theatre is suffocating us. No. What are the challenges? Is it actors? Is it the talent? Are our universities and schools providing us enough talent and, and professional script writing? Even 10K for a band is a lot, you know? All those things. I want to know what your next immediate problem is. Well, aside value, the next would be finances, um, sponsorship. Yeah, because um, um, if, you, if no matter how good a storyline you have or no matter how good the content you have, if you don't have the right um, channels and the right um, um, resources to put that story out, then it becomes, it becomes almost impossible to tell that story. So um, um, aside venue, our next immediate um, challenge would be finances or sponsorship. Yeah. Okay, Kobna Ansar there from Scribe, a playwright, a professional writer. Um, before he goes, Clemento Suarez wants to give him one last uh, uh, fire. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, 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 friendly, friendly fire. <laughs> away, away, away. I just wanted to find out some few stuff from him. No problem, your mic uh, is on. We, we heard about the show, we talked about it on social media and all that. Uh, but I just want to ask you a few questions. Uh, what, after the lights went off, what did you do next? <laughs> I was I was helpless because um, I thought it was just a normal light out, a normal no, normal light out. At least five minutes, ten minutes, or thirty minutes, it would be back. But you know, when it was was transcending to two hours, three hours, now then I got to know it wasn't normal, and. It, if if for every uh, for every producer in my shoes, would, would you you feel the heat? When you see people leaving the hall, you see people complaining that they want their money back. Charlie, it's not easy. So you can imagine how I felt. So was it? Yeah, very only the National Theatre building, 
Oh, the, sorry, the lights went That's off. That's what I was also going to ask. Area. Yeah, so you see, that is what <laughs> even makes it laughable because the, the lighthouse was only at National Theatre. Even the even the even the um um the the, the, the traffic lights across National Theatre were being powered. So the lighter was at National Theatre. So your guess is as good as mine. You couldn't do the show. You didn't. You didn't finish with the show. So the first show didn't finish. We just went to about an hour into the show when the lighthouse happened, and then the lighthouse came about an hour into the second show. And we had to start a second show anyway because people had complained. They wanted their money back. They they, they had left. Others had waited behind for close to three hours toward the second show. Others who were coming in between the shows had to leave. And so, yeah, we had to continue the second show anyway. Just about five minutes after the lights came, we were not even prepared. But we just had to go because we didn't know what was going to happen. And yeah, that, that's, that's, that's it. That's oh, it. Okay. Okay, sorry about that, Kobna. I mean, it sounds like a very gruesome and stressful um, experience, but uh, God willing, we will elevate the conversation to the point where action will be taken and the National Theatre will be restored to its glory, as we all know. Thank you very much for joining us on uh, Culture Daily. Kobna Ansar from Scribe, a playwright and a theatre play um, producer as well, and a close friend of Clemento Suarez <laughs> right here on Culture Daily. Kobna, we'll catch you at a better time. Uh, have a blessed day. Now, guys, we've done a lot of uh, we've done a lot of uh, bashing and shooting and firing, but I know that it's not just like I said; it's not just national theatre that is ahead, though, in making sure that scripts turn into amazing plays. You have been on the road with scripts. You've been on the road with individuals, the human element. People will tell you that working with Ghanaian creatives is impossible. Over bottom. A mentor. I want you as a creative, as somebody who takes the stage, somebody who works backstage, somebody who's trying to knock down doors and get sponsors, to walk me through the challenges that you face firsthand, you know, in, in bringing the, because I, I've realized in the short time we've spoken that there's something you are passionate about. I want you to, to share your pain with us, you know. Uh, thank you. Uh, first of all, uh, when it comes to the human factor, this little challenge i mean uh, apart from discipline um time and yeah those these are the two when they come for rehearsals they are not disciplined they are on their phones and all that these are just normal millennial stuff mm. uh, yeah and their time we say five they'll come at six uh, apart from those things i think uh creatives are very very talented and so using them you are you are you know that right from the casting moment you know you're halfway through your production once you call serial that uh, have a beat you know that for rap you are just have to think about your hook uh -huh. so for the creators they are exceptionally talented um, we just have to work on our time uh, time consciousness and uh, discipline. Oh, and there's a national disease also. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's, it's, it's not. Because if you book a flight in Ghana, you don't miss, you don't miss, you don't miss airport. Mm. So you don't miss why, airport. why does our disease not go to airport? <laughs> if you are going for a visa, U.S. visa, you, you, don't miss you are not late. Ah. So it's not. Don't let us accept it's, that. We, no, we like punishing each other. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. yeah. So, I mean, aside that, I mean, for human or the personnel, we are, we are a bit fine. Okay. We are a bit fine. Lenny, only Yeah, I, I, was, I was just going to ask him if um, he thinks that it's um, the, the folks in, you know, theater, um, do they feel the same way the guys who are actually on screen um, feel like when it comes to being superstars? I mean, for you and your, your brothers, you, you guys have become household names. Um, but for a very long time, we haven't seen like, you know, new superstars come up from. Is it is it because of the challenges you are facing, or it has to do with some form of amplification? Um, it, it has to do with the kind of thing we are doing. Okay. There are so many. Let me. I always want to just oppose with music. There right. are so many musicians mm. who are not known but are doing exceptionally well. That's right. Mm. But even with those who are known. If you are not in Ghana, we don't book you. We have somebody who is Ghanaian, who does Ghana music, mm. has been nominated for Grammys for about three times, 
but never has he won reggae music. <laughs> reggae mm. artist here before. Elder Dawood. Gunshot. Production has to put a gunshot so, thing on the thing. How does somebody <laughs> come out from Ghana, go out to Grammys, and never and won? At home, yes. he's not won the same award, award which no. is smaller. Which Sometimes is when they don't nominate him. He's not even nominated. Yeah, the nominations, yeah, true. So it's the genre. For movies, like I said, you can watch, you can watch, you can watch. Everybody, the whole Ghana can watch. You can take it to a brochure, yeah. go watch. So it's easy to make stars out of it. Right. But for theater, people have to walk to see you. Mm. So if, like I said again, if 4,000 people will come, it's only 4,000. Even in a crowd, we are over a million. Only 4,000 people have seen you. So it's difficult to come out as a star. It took me for a long time, like... Six years into Minecraft mm, before mm. Um, I got on TV, social media came up, and the people started knowing me. Knowing me, I mean, we are, we have been working. From the Yansapo, wasn't Yansapo time? Yes, Yansapo. Yeah. From, yeah. Even I, from University of Ghana. Yeah, yeah. They are missing wow. out on yeah. that. So, so would you say that the uh, you hear from a native doctor? That that was yeah. that was the that, that was, was the a break. breakout. Yeah, wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. that was because I was a campus star. Right. Yes. Yeah, so if you are not in Lagos, you will not know. Don't know. <laughs> so until the video went viral. Ah. That's uh, yeah, my native tongue. Even that show, if you watch it, you see that there were a handful of audience. Yes, they're uh, just more. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me count. Uh, <laughs> Fifteen. <laughs> okay, let me just. This is a quick one for me before uh, material comes in. Um, talking about exporting the product, mm -hmm. um, we've talked a, a lot about you know having to do local shows. But the last time I think I I caught Jenna and Tatia doing a show in Germany, if I'm not mistaken. Um, how is it like doing cross market? you know, exports. Um, do you get invitations from, you know, theater plays in other countries? Hey, we've seen what you're doing in Ghana. You've made some good name for yourself. Come over, come be a part of maybe a Broadway show or something. H how is it like in, in your industry? Uh, 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 thank you. That kind of invitation comes. Okay. But you see, we're in, we, we're in a country where some things are politicized. Hmm. And... Uh, if there's going to be an invitation from Broadway, for example, mm -hmm. it's going to come to the National Theatre. Okay. And the National Theatre has... Uh, there are people. Uh, in -house. Resident, not in -house. They have a resident theatre players. Oh. So if there's something like that, they have to represent the country. Wow. So Clarento would oh. only go if it comes to me. Uh, oh. If it comes to you direct. directly. Yes. Uh, oh. Yo, man, we've seen what you do. We want you to come feature in this. That's different. But if it comes to the theatre... It will go to the big boys or the leaders of oh, the wow. DIA. So I, I, I'm not saying it's bad. No, 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 it's, 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 it's a fair assumption. We've seen the <coughs> a baby groomer travel outside. Yes, go yes, yes, yes. With General Tatia's issue, uh, it started with an exchange program. They, were, they used to do it from Legon. Okay. Uh, school of okay. Formulas. They, okay. Yeah, so they had that link and oh. they've gone. They've performed not only in Germany. Like, they did the Schengen thing. Right, and went around. Yeah, so wow. it happens. Me, I've been to perform outside, but it was, it came to me. Clement, we need you to come. Mm. And then I went. So, wow. It happens. It comes. Wow. Okay, good one there. Before we get into the last 10 minutes of our conversation, where we'll be discussing the Akosia Fund, and Clemento will be opening up everything uh, detailed about that. Let's pay some bills, Charlie. So, Woodin is saying, let's slay for Ghana. March Ghana Month Slave for Ghana promo is here. Enjoy the rich Ghanaian culture through amazing Woodin fabrics, ready to wear outfits and fashion accessories as we celebrate Ghana. Visit Woodin retail shops and partner shops nationwide and receive an instant gift with your purchase. Also, stand a chance of winning a hamper full of Woodin products in our weekly draw. Offer ends 7th April. Terms and conditions apply. Woodin, Le Creator. Now, remember, Woodin is available at a Crown Mall, ANC Mall, Junction Mall, Osu Oxford Street, High Street, Legon City Mall, H and M Mall at Denta. In Kumasi, Woodin shops can be found at the Kumasi City Mall, SG Mall, and the Doom Unicorn House. In Cape Coast, Pat Building near Kingsway, in Takradi near Market Circle, Koforidua in Antarctic Plaza Building, and in the Pat Building in Sunyane, where sometimes Clemento Suarez mm. plays. Now, my brother, tell Sir. us about the Akosia Fund. So I know this is something that you're working with um, and Sophie, Honorable and Sophie uh, with. It's a collaborative effort. But um, it, it's looking at theatre and kind of maximising theatre and, and putting it out there. Walk us through it, how it happened, what the arrangements are like and what we are to expect. Great. great. Thank you so much. Um, for Her Excellency, 
the ambassador to Africa, and Sophie, I think she's been an angel to the industry. Uh, but f for her time here in Ghana, she actually focused on the music. So she did a lot of works with the musicians, Stoneboy, Famille, all those guys, and it caught up. But later on, he, she realized that she didn't actually pay attention to the comedians or the theater space after she seen, she saw one of our plays. And she was like, oh, this is actually happening. But I never heard it. I never got to see it. So um, even after she had left, she said that uh, since she's, she's now Ghanaian, she, she has the <laughs> citizenship, uh, since she still has her fund here, and the fund, the Akosia fund, funded by her, of course, um, helps build up communities, development in other communities. And uh, so she's done so many things in Fume, in Borga, Cape Coast, and all that. So uh, she needed to still keep it working. So she said uh, she's been doing fundraising for the fund. But this time she said that um, she would love to have a theater or a comedy night with the fundraising. So. She contacted some of us and we were like, we've worked uh, something out for a long time. Sometimes it's good to give to society. So uh, we also agreed that, yeah, we, we will do this to give to society. Uh, because uh, you don't wait for society to always give you before you say you yeah. are giving back. No. Sometimes you to give to society, society will give back to you. So we're just all for it. And we decided to do this comedy night. So it's called Laugh for a Cause. So as you're enjoying the comedy, you're also helping somebody because every um, proceed, the gate proceeds, going straight to the fund and every money in the fund is for the less privileged in some of these um, small small towns uh, um, for me like I mentioned Borga, Wa, and all those villages some all those villages in some of these areas uh -huh. so um, that's mainly the issue that the real thing on the ground that we are raising funds to help Akusia fund help Ghanaians who are uh, deprived of certain things. So yeah. Mm. Now, if the Akosia Fund is using um, theater as a medium to impact these lives, is theater itself being impacted by the Akosia Fund or by any exposure available? Because we've just spoken about theater's full potential and the fact that it needs all the resources it can get. Not necessarily money, even exposure, traveling opportunities, like uh, Olele asked, if they say come to Broadway, it go go different squad inside. But what is Akosia's uh, fund doing, or is are they doing anything that will also elevate the theatre industry here? Not just uh, leveraging on it to impact Fume and Bolga and other uh -huh. deprived areas. Uh -huh. um, uh, thank you once again. Um, most of the thing, most of the times, when we do stuff together or there's a collaboration, both parties um, get to benefit. I'm here on your station, on your program, you're benefiting. I'm also benefiting, I'm getting the leverage. I mean, so um, Akosia, that's Anne. She's putting us on. She could have done this without us. You know her, she's a big figure. She has yeah. all the plots. She could have done this without us, but she decided to get us out. To, it, it is also kind of throwing light on us that theater, we can actually do a musical show to raise funds, you can do a dinner to raise funds, you can do comedy to raise funds. So the light is always on us and we are also benefiting. Mm -hmm. For when it comes to traveling and all, that one, we, we, we are doing this for Ghana and we are not expecting anything in return. If it happens that the president of France says, oh, Anne, this thing you did is so nice, bring your guys here, oh, I'll go. Yeah, you will not be late <laughs> for the flight. <laughs> no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> Oh, good. So um, we, we, we are not doing good to expect something in return. No, for me, no. And what, what, what's the schedule? What's the schedule like? So when are, you, when, when are these um, 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 plays executed? What's the frequency? I mean, you know, are there any other partners or it's a solely um, Akosia Fund thing? You know, yeah, it's, it's, being powered. it's being powered by the Akosia Fund, but uh, also by Nyansapo. So okay. Nyansapo is the group that I belong to. Um, Consist of Foster Romanos, General Tatia is our president, um, Dr. Soul, and a whole lot of other people. Let me try and mention because 
Manny Somwa, Robert Aglija, and yes, and Willie Chambers, mm-hmm. uh, the new guy on board. Uh, so this is a theatre group that's partnering uh, Akosia to produce this play. We are also working with the National Theatre, of course, and like I'm saying, that that twelve thousand or something is also is some kind of subsidy for us. Yeah. yeah so the National Theatre, they are doing their best. It's just that things are not working as it's supposed to work, or it's supposed to, but they're doing their best, they're helping us and all that. And other stuff, because it's a charity show, we, we all we do is plead with people. So if it's sound, we tell you, this is a charity show. Can you sponsor it? If you can sponsor the night, that's cool. If it comes and we have to pay you, we pay you. And that will come from Anne Sophie. Mm-hmm. And if some of us to have the means to pay, we do. So if I need Lenny like this to play a role, oh, this is a charity show, you're not paying anybody. Mm-hmm. So, oh, media, I can do that. <coughs> Madam Judge. I, yeah, <laughs> Madam Judge, she's already got her role. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So then we talk to her. If she's okay to do for free, she also gets on board. If she's not, and we still need her, we'll pay her off and all that. So, so when, when, what are the dates? When are, cause we, we are doing just one day. And okay. It's just uh, uh, next week, Friday, 17th of March at the National Theatre. It starts from 7 p.m. 7 p.m., 17th of March, National Theatre. And we are taking just 100 cities. And every single part of that money goes straight to the fund. And that's it. But if you, you like, like you, you're a big man. You can't <laughs> just donate 100 cities. No, no, no. So you pay your ticket, all right? But when you come... You give thousand. You yeah. see, uh huh. So, for <laughs> me on my socials, I go to people and tell them, "How can you support this? I'm not selling the tickets. How can you? So, yeah. can you buy five tickets? What have you got for us? Yeah. yeah. So, even though you buy your tickets and come into the auditorium, there will be times there will be set up for you to donate into the fund. Even in the play, we are locating a bit of time to do fundraising in a comical way. So, you've paid your all right, but you can still give us something a thousand, two thousand. You are not giving thousand. You 10,000 man. Don't belittle yourself. Like Praise that. the Lord. You think mm. I don't know you. Jesus advocate. Yeah, zero. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus advocate. Yeah, so um, that's it. What's yeah. the play about? Will you give us a gist? He mentioned it. Uh, I, I, was I, no. Oh, on say no. Because I know he didn't know. It was just one of his favorite plays. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. Oh. And we are, do, we are coming back with Flash that Flash Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. That's a, it's a beautiful play. If anybody has seen it, I mean. I've not seen it, no, but I actually, uh, now I'll be there. Um, Deborah Dadson. You know Deborah uh-huh, Dadson? Yeah, yeah. That's my wife. Oh. My wife is now Deborah, da- Deborah Goddard. She wants up me right now that uh, it, my theater has boyfriend. We did two plays together. Yeah. In Timeno, we were co Yeah. Your wife? My wife. My How many Debbie. children do you have? <laughs> two. <laughs> Marcel. Have you seen the first one? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> She's listening. Baby, maybe if you're not counting. Come and say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, 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 say. Charlie, but that's yeah. how small the world is. So, yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. we, we are con- more connected than you know. And it's been, it's been yeah. beautiful having this conversation yeah. and exploring the creative arts. We always talk about music, music videos, yeah. and our rappers, yeah. and our Afrobeats, yeah. and our then, then. But creative arts extends beyond that. And even looking at the revenue that we are looking to chalk end of year, for this year of return and all that. Theater would be a good way to tell our cultural stories yeah. to these audiences. So, I mean, all the big wigs listening, uh, when Clemento and the theater guys pop up with their sponsorship, Charlie, yeah. sign the checks. Let's 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 make sure tomorrow, that we tomorrow um there's a Uko uh, sorry on the eleventh there's Uko 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 Mention, you mentioned the year of return thing, and yeah. Yeah. you see, when Dave Chappelle came, mm. they did some Adwa stuff for him, and mm-hmm. that was it. Mm-hmm. I think that in future, if people like that come, they want to know that their heritage, they want to know yeah. their culture. The, 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 there can be plays that have the history of Yasantua, Konfonochi, mm. mm. and all. The, People can to tell the that. story of it's Ghana. And they will know the story of Charlie, Ghana. Charlie, I'll definitely have production time. bring you back. But also soon, our time at 10 o'clock in Nak Pepe, Pepe. The name is Serial here with Lenny Lomote, um, Olele Salvador, and Clemento Suarez. We've been talking theater, arts, on Culture Daily. Big conversation. We'll catch you tomorrow where the vibe continues. We out.